Oh, good morning, guys. It's freezing out here. It's negative nine degrees. What? Diesel and Power Stroke. Thank goodness they're inside. They're, no, Diesel and I forgot his name. Duramax. Duramax, they're inside. They got cold last night. I didn't know it was not supposed to get this cold. So we got, let me kind of see here. We got four to five inches. It looks like it's blowing a little bit. Four to five inches, not too bad. That's what they say on the old station. The power stroke is plugged in. Let me see if the old garage door opens. It is chilly, guys. We need to get in here, get the power stroke warmed up. We're gonna get somewhat of a cold start. Now we are in a garage, which is a lot better than the outside, but it's not It's not a heated garage. I, I, I am plugged in, so this shouldn't be too bad, but it's still negative nine. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> She fired up like it was nothing. I had her plugged in. That is, I think that's the, the crucial thing. So real quick, I'm going to let it warm up and we will kind of hang out here. But this is the Western Whiteout XL plow and it's it's super nice. I'll show you how the side works. It really eliminates the dribbles when we do uh, wide areas in areas that we don't want to have to scrape twice. So there's a lot of snow on the ground. So this is our setup. I have super nice high beams there and plenty of light. Of course, we got duels and then we got the BF Goodrich mud train. Now there's there's some uh, controversy on, I can't even really say the word, on the mud train. And, and BF Goodrich does a better job, but a lot of people say like mud train tires, there's so much gap in between the tread that you lose traction in the snow, which is true. But I think BF Goodrich, the tread pattern on it is, is uh, takes an account for that. So we are going to knock this out real quick and do the driveway. There's a few back roads we need to do. And then I'm gonna head over to Brad's probably, and we're gonna go hit some residentials. So this is the start of our snow business. The first snow of the year, it, it's a good snow. We're gonna get paid good for this. I'm happy with it. It'll be, I, I don't like the cold. So I'm going to hurry up, get inside the truck, wait another five minutes and uh, make sure she's up to temperature and then we will get started. All right. The old girl's all warmed up. She's locked and cocked. Let's get going, baby. Ford built tough. Let's get her done. I'm curious. I better, you know, I might as well get this thing all wide. I'll show you how it works. So we can angle this out here. I might as well make it wide. This isn't, it's pretty dry stuff and it's not super like we didn't get dumped on. So Real quick, I'm just gonna widen the plow. I'm not gonna angle it right now until we start um, strategically going about this. But it is gonna take me a second to get used to the plow. It's, it's a total different setup, total different plow. So my bad if I uh, if I do anything wrong or anything. But hopefully we can we can get things real nice and clean. There we go. Easy push there. Not bad at all. So right there, I could switch it, but I'm gonna more focus on using the plow's abilities when we do more like large parts of it and not really focus on like the little itty bit sections that oh i could have used the plow but I forgot to tell you guys it's about 5 30 in the morning the sun will will probably come up here in about an hour hour and a half so we we gotta we gotta ways till till we're gonna get some sunshine the lights on this aren't like amazing but it's not it's not terrible i want to maybe get uh some better backup lights they aren't bad but they could go a little further back and then also maybe side lights, but it's not it's not a big deal at all. And one quick disclaimer, as you guys watch me snow plow in today's episode, this technically, technically is not our farm server. This is UMRV. This is the IO map, but unfortunately, we're having troubles with the map, the server, and season snow. So we couldn't get snow on our actual farm server, which was a big bummer. So we actually had to uh, kind of cook up a new server that's not identical to it so you won't see some things that we have in here that you you would see in our farm server which is really disappointing and we tried everything we possibly could to make seasons and like all the mods in our server compatible but unfortunately it just didn't work big bummer we're still trying to fix it but right now it is what it is not a big deal but pretty much just saying that for anybody in the comments who's like yo spencer where's this where's that you won't be seeing all of our equipment and all the little things that make the server awesome that we have going on on our iowa farm map so let's see i'm gonna this is my first time plowing my farm so i gotta get used to where i'm gonna push snow the most efficient way this this won't be the most efficient way but this will not be our last time pushing snow at this farm so it's uh it's kind of a work in progress, I guess, and, and we're learning along the way too. But I love the plow; it's super powerful, and it uh, it does a really good job. So, a little bit. This is this is some pretty big snowstorm for my first job, so I'm not uh, still trying to get used to it. And it is I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not using the box plow today. I just don't think it's enough snow, and I I really want to test out our whole uh, setup here with the F450 and this plow on it because I bought this plow. This was not cheap. And we'll, we'll kind of wait till when we do more commercial lots with the big old 
box plow on the wheel loader. So I'm gonna get moving and grooving, hopefully have it done here soon. I'll check back in with you guys, hopefully when we have it done. And then I'm gonna go either help Brad out or Brad will come help me. Whoever gets done, whoever's farm, like if I get done before Brad, he'll come over. And then we're gonna go, like I said, hit up some residential driveways and a few other private streets that we have to do. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey Brad, you scared me that. I saw you pull in. Uh, I didn't think you'd be done already. Yeah, I just, I didn't do the whole thing cause I don't need access to my sheds. Everything's locked up and winterized. Okay. The only thing I need is my snowmobile, but that's easy. Cool. Well, uh, I'm, I would say like halfway done. The main part is in front of this shed and then, and then that big section there. So if you, okay. yeah, yeah. Hey, yep. uh, I was driving over here and I noticed there was a white Ford Ranger in the ditch on, is it the blacktop getting over here or was it that, did you no, take it's that side road? Okay. You took the Off side the road, the gravel road. Yeah. Okay. What was it a white ranger? That's the Yeah, it was white. It was white. Was it was it newer or was it like the old two thousand? I don't really know Rangers that well. Okay. Did it but I I think it was like a 2010, 2011, something like was that. Was it crew right? cab? What or was there okay, there it wasn't four doors, but was there the door and then the little half door? Yeah, yeah, the half okay. door. I think that's old man Jim's truck because i see him at casey's every single day he, he just sits there drinks coffee that sounds okay. like his truck we should uh was any was he nobody was in there no nobody was in there okay and you could see the paths like it already snowed and then he went into the ditch yeah that's what it looked like okay it, it was on top of the snow okay well then because nobody's in there let's just get this done and then we'll head over there and see if you got that winch on your truck still yeah yeah it's on the back okay. there do you have a hook? Uh, no. Uh, no. I think we should be able to rig something up. I might in my toolbox. Okay. But all okay. right, then. Well, uh, let's I'll just... get started over there. Okay, that works. Then... Let's do it. All right, man. Sounds good. Dang, guys, that's pretty crazy. I think. I mean, I know. Brad was saying that he, he doesn't really know Ford Rangers, but it, it sounds like and there's not too. I mean, there's quite a bit of Ford Rangers around here, but. That sounds like Jim's, and I can't think of. I was trying to think of other questions to ask Brad to try and like see if that was. I mean, he it's an old guy. He's like seventy. Okay, I think he's in his seventies, and he drives a Ford Ranger just like that. So, if that's him, good, thank goodness he isn't in there. So somebody must have pulled him out of there or gave him a ride. Well, we can always. If he's not at Casey's by the time like seven o'clock. It was him. There's something wrong. So we need to, uh, yeah, we'll scoot over there once we get this done. This is going really good. So thank goodness Brad came here too. This is going to make it go really, really fast. And yeah, we'll go, we'll go out and see if we, uh, if that is Jim's, I'll be able to recognize it the second I see it, but I'm guessing it is him. And he, he, he likes to get up early too. So I don't think it was some high school kids Ford Ranger. I think it was, uh, I think it was Jim's. All right. So that's about as much as I want I don't want to push it too much to the driveway and I don't use that shed that often during the winter time. So I think that's good. And I'm going to try and knock out this driveway. Brad is, uh, moving a good amount of snow over there. So I will see you guys once we're done with it. All right, guys, Brad and I are just finishing up the main section of the farm. So I switched my plow to try and make no dribbles, which is amazing about this plow is look at it. I mean, now we're getting into deep, deep like really deep snow but it for the most part there especially when there's not a lot of snow there are like no dribbles which makes this plow just so good so i'll show you guys i'll i'll take out this stuff so if you ever you know are finishing up you can just angle it like that it's so nice but obviously those are some pretty pretty big piles that we pushed we pretty much had nowhere else to push this snow to which is like we didn't have sides so this this snow like typically we could offload a lot of this weight and a lot of this snow by throwing it off to the side but unfortunately we could only push it forward which kind of limited us there we go drop her down knock her out together so now we're gonna head over see if uh see if that ranger is jim's i mean anyway uh we'll probably just pull it up for him i don't know what else we can do i'll do, we'll just pull it out of the ditch probably either way no matter whose it is make sure obviously nobody's in there which which brad already did so i'm gonna we'll talk to brad hey what's up yeah, nice job, man. Oh, thank you. 
that was uh that was clean this turned out a little better than my section but uh yeah it looks good uh, dude our trucks look really good too yeah they do i think they look a bit better so let's uh i'm gonna follow you take me to where he was at okay and uh yeah we'll see All right. how far is he down the road is he closer to to uh mcgregor or closer to here like i guess i would say about halfway okay he's halfway on the road okay not too bad you have a cv in your truck too right yep yeah i do okay cool we can all just right, talk. Just blow it up. All right. Yep. Was there any uh, blowing snow at all around there? No, I thought about plowing it a little bit, but we can do that once we get down there. I don't know. It may be too much of a hassle to try and plow it. Yeah. Out because it, it's kind of. I don't know. There. You know, they're gonna take a while. The uh, the the county, the DOT is gonna take a while to plow that road. I know that one takes a bit longer, and I would just think it would because it's gravel and usually they run graders on that which are just slower but we'll see either way don't you we will probably pull it out yeah something. even if it's not gems i said we just we can pull it out wow it is quite bumpy through here okay. yeah i tried to push this those guys should be coming through in about 30 to an hour uh by the time we get sunny so i didn't worry too much it's this way no it's this way okay. yeah I, I got hung up there on the pile gotcha yes sir. yeah it's this next left up here okay gotcha yeah it's uh it's not too bad out here i kind of expected it to be a little more blowing you know typical iowa super 40 mile an hour winds after after it snows yeah. two inches and it feels like it's like five inches of snow just when you drive down the highway but this isn't this isn't terrible we're coming along i see some other tracks in here too it's kind of matted down how, how, did, how did the power stroke, how did yours start up this morning? Did you, I'm guessing you had it plugged in? Yeah, I had it plugged in. Oh, that is not a road. That is the entrance to a field. There's a road. Is this, yeah, this is it right here, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. 140th half. Yeah, I had it plugged in. It's like negative nine out. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was free. I brought the dogs in. They did not want to play in the snow. Usually they like the snow, but I think it was a little too cold for them. But yeah, mine started up almost like it was obviously plugged in. Helps it a lot, but. Wasn't there. bad at all. Uh, no, it should be up here on the right. Man, your lights are bright. Yeah. Uh, do you have your brights on on the? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yours just seem like. Yeah, I don't. I, I have aftermarket bulbs, but that's. Or I just have LED bulbs. It's not. I don't think the headlights are special. Oh, here it is up here. I see it on the right. Okay. Uh, it's on our right. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there it is. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off on the set here, shine my lights on it. Maybe you somewhat get in position for the winch, but hey, that Brad, that's for sure. That's for sure, Jim's. Oh, is it? That's okay. his truck. Yep, that's exactly his truck. He keeps it nice right. and clean. Uh, yep, black rims. Oh, it's got a hook on the back. Okay. There we go. You must Perfect. Always carry a hook around. Something. Yeah, oh, if you want to. Uh, how we're gonna do this? How about you? Well, the, the way it's angled and these ditches are so steep around here. It's not even. They're so deep. So Ooh. let's. Uh, can I get you? Maybe you back up like in line with it. And then we yeah, can I'm going to go. Jump. It's a little tight through here. So I'm going to go turn around up there and then just pull straight through here and kind of back up as yeah. much as I can. Hon yeah, honestly, just go up to the highway and do that. That's a smart idea. Yep. You going to back me up? Yep. Go ahead and keep cranking it to the right a bit. I'll make sure you don't go off. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. And hope. Oh, there you go. Back it up. Follow, follow yeah, me. I can see it in my mirror. There you go. Just come straight back. I'll make sure you don't go too far. All right. Let's see how, how much we can get you hanging. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And that's good. That's good. All right. All right. Go ahead. Loosen up. The, turn on the winch there. I'll start pulling on the cable. Okay. We'll get her attached. There we go. You got her. There we go. All right, we're good. Yeah, it's not dragging on the ground, but I, that's what I'm a little worried about. Once we scooch it back here, the cable could be dragging, and then your own snow too. But I think we should be good. Those Ford Rangers are pretty small. They're pretty light. Yeah, they are. I think so. Oh, that's good. At least it's not a one ton. No, no. Yeah, this <laughs> is. Uh, this is honestly, this is probably the easiest thing to pull out. It has some height to it. It's a pickup truck, but then it's really light too. So. Yeah. I think right, the let's... old Ranger Danger got it. Got ahead of himself a little bit, old Jim. We'll have to give him crap if we see him at Casey's. Of course, always. All right, go I'll ahead, and start, hopping. start winching it, and I'll talk to you. All right. Just keep going. There you go. Get her started. Hop in and steer it. 
Yeah. Yeah. What else? What I was thinking, Brad, is yeah, we can just yank it out, and then yeah, because because the winch the winch was was having a slide. If we get some momentum, some speed, I think it'll help. You, you're saying you want me to get in the Ranger? Yeah, I think that might help if you can just turn the we help turn help steer wheels. yeah 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 for sure i will uh wait let me see if the door's unlocked just wait yeah we probably should do that okay there's no keys inside it's unlocked though all right i'm in okay all right i'm gonna pull you go ahead there you go drag me keep going i think i might be i have to back up and yeah all right my bumper's kind of in the snow mate yep angle it different there you go 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 oh no Oh, the winch is pulling it now. There you go. You go and pull, pull, pull. Oh, this bumper's like hung up on here. Then the front end. There you go. Oh, Keep boy. going. You had it. You had it. But don't go in the ditch. Yeah, I need a little bit more speed here. Probably should have moved your truck. There you go. Go drive, drive, drive. Maybe reset real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Or I'm gonna go in the other ditch, and you're gonna have to pull me out. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a bit harder too. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, I wish we could hook both oh. of these up. Yeah, that's that's all I got right there. Here, keep going. Try one more time. Here we go. We'll see if the old power strokes got her in or one last pull. Get a big old yank on her. There we go. There, that was... I think something just, like, went there. There we go. Nice. I will... Uh, I'll detach that for you. Okay. I think maybe we need to check that, that cable after all that work we just there all the tension we just put it underneath i'm surprised it didn't break yeah same okay i'm having trouble can you see if you can get that off yeah, let me see here my hands are cold and it's kind of like stuck on there after we yanked on it all right cool oh. we're on the hook all right guys real quick want to give a quick shout out to donald griffin check out his facebook in the description below he's the modder or the creator for the uh for the ford ranger and austin farmer also helped out as well so check it out links in the description thanks donald all right let's uh let's shoot in town hit those two driveways real quick and then all uh, right and then we'll keep going so all right, Man, that's that's crazy that took quite a bit to get this truck out i think they're, they were just so steep they were so steep and then it was like stuck and i think it was i don't know it was it was just so county needs to do something about that that's so dangerous yeah it is dangerous but i feel like that would be really expensive to like fill it in or whatever Probably. idea but yeah all right let's head into town and, and see how things are going there all right uh do you know which driveways we have to hit yeah i got them on my gps okay. it's all good all just right. follow then me i'll just follow you yeah let's I'm do it to... all right brad this is what we're dealing with we got this whole neighborhood besides that uh the house on the right side of the street and all the way on the end okay so what's this like five five houses, five houses? yep five houses okay. so we're gonna clear this street too i don't know why they hadn't but yeah we're just gonna clear it knock it out and uh yeah we'll be good you know how the city likes to work yeah i know i don't i don't get it so I'm gonna. I'm gonna have some trouble finding the street here. But we should. I'm just be gonna pull to right it. beside you and just. Yeah, just just watch the curb. Oh, I, I think I was hitting the curb there. There we go. Yeah, watch out for the curbs. I think I just okay. hit one back there. There we go. Keep pushing, pushing. Oh, it's cool, Brad. I can see you in my rear view. But yeah, it looks good from there. I would. Oh, there we go. Now I can see some. Go. Watch out. For... We got a fire hydrant up here. I didn't see any other anything else that would kind of get in our way. All right, there we go. I'm knocking out these guys' driveway. So the thought is right now, we don't have everybody working with us. It's just me and Brad. But I think we're going to get hit with another snowstorm. And so we'll bring everybody out for that. Get all the, all the equipment going for... But just right now... Me and Brad are trying to get done a few accounts. So that is uh, maybe why you aren't seeing everybody who usually works with us or who we were like planning on having work with us. We'll have CJ and everybody come in and uh, and try and knock all this out. So yeah, we're gonna get skill loaders out here, which probably would be a lot better for what we're doing right now for the residentials. We'll try and get all that done. But the plows or the, the trucks in a plow actually works pretty good too. It's just sometimes I might go into the grass a little more than I would I was like on a smaller unit, so that's what we're doing right now. I'm trying to steer clear of these fences. All right, there you go, guys. We knocked out this neighborhood. It wasn't too bad, and uh, like I said, more videos to come of us snow plowing. This is just the start, and there's probably way more storms to come too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll end the video looking off at the Mississippi, but the neighborhood got 
done and i uh, really liked it so there it is it's a little sloppy but like i said we'll get some good residential and commercial snow plowing done but this is just almost the teaser so hopefully you guys enjoyed hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next episode thanks for watching